Now we will discuss distributive property. Suppose you have three rational numbers A, B and C. So distributive property of multiplication over addition means A into in brackets B plus C is equal to AB plus AC. So here first you will multiply A to B. So when you multiply A to B both are positive so the result will be positive and A into B is AB. Here now you will multiply A to C. So plus into plus is plus A into C is AC. So this is distributive property of multiplication over addition. Similarly, you have distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. So multiplication over subtraction means A into in brackets B minus C. So this is distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. This is distributive property of multiplication over addition. So here first you multiply A to B. So both are positive. So the result will be positive. And A into B is AB. Here plus A minus C. So you will get plus into minus is minus. A into C is AC. So here when you multiply A to B minus C inside the brackets. You will get AB minus AC. Now let us understand distributive property with the help of this question. So here you can clearly see that there are three rational numbers and here you have multiplication and here you have addition. So this is distributive property of multiplication over addition. Let us solve the left hand side first then we will solve the right hand side. And we will see whether left hand side is equal to right hand side or not. So on left hand side we have brackets. So as per the Broadmas rule, first we need to solve the bracket. So here you have minus 3 by 4 and the LCM for 3 and 6 is 6. So here you have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 2. So you get 4 by 6. And here you have plus of minus 5 by 6. So here you have minus 3 by 4 into plus 4 minus 5. You will get minus 1 in the numerator upon 6. You can cancel 3 and 6. So here you will get 2 minus into minus is plus. And you have 1 into 1 is 1. Denominator 4 into 2 is 8. So on left hand side you got 1 by 8. Now let us solve the right hand side. So on right hand side we have minus 3 by 4 into 2 by 3. This is in brackets plus then we have one more bracket inside that we have minus 3 by 4 into minus 5 by 6. So here you can cancel this 3 and 3 and you can cancel 2 and 4. So you will get 2 here. You can cancel 3 and 6. So here you will get 2. So here minus into plus is minus and you have 1 in the numerator. 2 in the denominator because 2 into 1 is 2. So here you have minus 1 by 2. Here minus into minus is plus and numerator, my, here it is only 5, denominator 4 into 2 is 8. So you can clearly see the denominators are different. You need to take the LCM to make the denominator same. So LCM for 2 and 8 is 8. So here you have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 4. So what do you get? Minus 4 by 8. And here you have 5 by 8. So what do you get here? 5 minus 4 is 1 upon 8. So you can clearly see on right hand side also you got 1 by 8. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. So that means the distributive property of multiplication over addition holds true. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. Now let us discuss rational numbers between two rational numbers. If I ask you how many natural numbers are there between 3 and 7. So you will say 4, 5, 6. So you have 3 natural numbers between 3 and 7. If I ask you how many integers are there between 0 and minus 5. So you will say minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. So how many you have? 1, 2, 3, 4. You have 4 integers. If I ask you how many integers are there between minus 8 and minus 9? 
so you can clearly see that there are no integers that means there is zero integers so if i ask you how many natural numbers are there how many integers are there between two given natural numbers or two integers that set is finite you can count and tell but what about rational numbers let us understand this with the help of one example suppose you have 0 and you have 10 if i ask you how many rational numbers are there between 0 and 10 so you will say 9 that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so as of now you can see there are 9 rational numbers but we can write 0 as 0 by 1 and you can write 10 also as 10 by 1. If I multiply here both numerator and denominator by 10, so what will you get here? 0 by 10. This is equivalent rational number for 0 by 1. Similarly, here also we will multiply both numerator and denominator by 10. So what you will get? 100 upon 10. So now how many rational numbers are there between 0 and 10? Let us write it down. So greater than 0 by 10, we have 1 by 10, 2 by 10, 3 by 10 and so on till 99 by 10. So here you had 9 rational numbers between 0 and 10. When you found out the equivalent rational number for 0 and rewrite it as 0 by 10, and for 10 also, you, when you find it for uh, equivalent rational number by writing it as 100 by 10, then you see that there are 99 rational numbers between 0 and 10. Let me multiply now here both numerator and denominator by 100. So what will you get here? When you multiply by 100, you get 0 upon 100. And here when you multiply both numerator and denominator by 100, what you will get here? 1000 upon 100. So now how many rational numbers are there in between 0 and 10? It will start from greater than 0 upon 100 is 1 upon 100. Then you have 2 upon 100. Then you have 3 upon 100. And it will continue till 999 upon 100. So this time you have 999 rational numbers between 0 and 10. You keep multiplying by multiples of 10 to both 0 and 10. You, the number will keep on increasing. So what we can say? We can say that there are infinite rational numbers between two given rational numbers. There is one more concept to explain this point. That how many rational numbers are there between two given rational numbers is the mean concept. This concept I have explained in class 9 number system whose link I have given in the description box below. Interested students can go and check out there. There also you will find that between two given rational numbers there are infinite rational numbers.